What's going on everybody? I just got to the thrift store. Let's see what I can find to flip online for profit. All right, so I probably just have one of my best days out thrifting I've had in a while. There's a lot of items I bought in this video to resell and there's also a lot of stuff that I did not buy and I'm going to tell you why I did not buy those items. I went to two thrift stores this day. The second one was definitely the best but there's a lot of great stuff from both of these so definitely watch the whole thing. Up first I found some Odegary coffee mugs. These I sell really well in my booth that I rent in an antique mall. They're wanting a dollar a piece for these, kind of high because I always find these at garage sales for like 25 cents a piece, but I sell these really well in my booth for like seven to twelve dollars each. These probably around like eight dollars. This one had a chip so I definitely left it behind, but this one was in really great shape so two dollars into probably about 16 i think that's pretty good they had these corel spring blossom crazy daisy pattern little hook handle cups they're really faded from the dishwasher but i normally sell those in my booth for like two dollars a piece but these are in rough shape so i left those behind now this probably could have been a good find this is a disney pirates of the caribbean coffee mug with mickey on there but they were wanting four dollars for it i couldn't find any listed or any sold and it was just too much of a risk at four dollars so i decided to pass on it i always love to check the coffee mug section though because one time i found a 40 dollar mug here and there's been many times i found them worth like 15 to 20 dollars now here's something you don't see every day at the thrift store this was a little swung vase it was only two dollars it's pretty dirty i'm gonna have to put some solution in there to clean it out i sell these really well in my booth in town i'm probably only gonna get like 12 dollars for this one there's no markings on it but it's just hard for me to leave this kind of stuff behind because it really helps my booth to look good and get people in there. So I had to pick it up. One area of the thrift store I don't talk about very much is where they have like the blankets and comforters and stuff. This was made by Beacon Tuscany. It's $5.50. There were six of these listed and only one sold. And upon further inspection, it looked like it had been used before. I did not buy this. But there has been some times that I found some really expensive bedding. So always check that area because you just never know. A lot of times this amber glass really calls out my attention this one had a really big chip on it but a lot of this stuff is really cheap it doesn't really sell for much i usually pass on that stuff i saw they had this little set of four corral plates for three dollars this pattern though doesn't really sell very well especially for this many probably get around eight dollars for this but if they were like 25 cents a piece i'd probably pick them up for my booth a lot of times i'll find anchor hawking stuff still in the original box i always look it up because you just never know this was a two-piece cheese set I looked it up, there were none sold. There's one listed for like $7.99 plus shipping, so I passed. That was all I found here for the hard goods. Now I'm gonna head up to men's clothes because they usually do really good over here. Right away, I found this brand I've never heard of before. It's called Best Made Co. This was $4.75. I looked at the sold listings on eBay. They're kind of all over the place, but it looked like I could get at least $30 for it, so I definitely picked it up. Now this brand, Cinch, I'm really picky about buying this one. It's gotta be really good colors, good patterns, they're wanting $4.75 for this. The last one I picked up, I sold for $20. This one had a nice purple color to it. I think I can get at least around $18 to $20 for this one as well. There's also this George Strait Wrangler for $4.75. I picked up a few of these at a garage sale a while back and did really well with them. Most of them sold for $19 to $20 plus shipping. I do have the buyer pay for shipping for pretty much all of my listings. I normally only buy the Wrangler Pearl Snap shirts, but these have been doing pretty good for me, so I'm going to keep trying these out for a while. Now, here's one one that I don't find very often. This is by Ex Officio. It's Buzz Off Insect Repellent Apparel. Looks like most of these shirts are around the same price, but this one looked to be selling a lot better on Poshmark for around $18 to $20. Now here's a shirt that I do not buy to resell, and that is by Lauren Ralph Lauren. It's a lower end of Ralph Lauren. Polo Ralph Lauren is on the higher end. You can normally find these for really cheap on platforms like eBay or Poshmark, and it's just not worth it to me. Now this is a good find. It's a Peter Malone polo shirt for $3.75. I normally sell these for around $20 to $25, but sometimes you can get upwards of $30 for these. I saw they had these polo Ralph Lauren green pants for $3.75. These normally sell for around like $18 to $20 on average. They look to be a good size, but they had a questionable spot on the front and the back looked to be a little bit ripped, so I decided to pass. All right, so I just got to the next thrift store location. Didn't find a whole bunch in the last place. I've never been to this place before, but I've heard a lot of good things about it, so let's go check it out this place has actually been closed for a while because of water damage and they just opened the day before i got here and 
I scored really big. It's not very often you find a Harley Davidson jacket when you first walk into a thrift store, so this definitely got me excited. They're asking $25 for this one though, and it just looked like it was really dirty, so I ended up passing on it. I saw they had a lot of Miss Me jeans on this rack. They were one ten dollars each. This one was a small size, a size 27, and that size doesn't really sell for very much. I'm looking for big sizes that I can get like $30 to $35 for. Now, this one was a size 38, but the condition just didn't look very good and it looked like it had been cut off at the bottom so i definitely gonna pass on that one they had this really nice looking levi jacket the only problem is that it was a size small and they wanted 15 dollars for it if it was like five dollars i probably would have picked it up but i knew it was gonna be a slow seller so i passed on that one as well now this one i did buy it was a brand new with tags carhartt camo flannel and they only wanted seven dollars for it i couldn't find any sold listings on this one let me know in the comments what you think this would sell for i'm thinking like 30 dollars it also had elbow patches so that's a plus i also grabbed this carhartt denim jacket it's kind of like a trucker style they only wanted ten dollars for it and these are selling pre-owned on ebay for around 50 to 70 dollars now this brown carhartt jacket i definitely paid up for this one it's an extra large i looked at the model number and it's selling for a good bit they're asking 25 dollars for it and this model has been selling on ebay for around 75 to 90 dollars now this could have been a good find it's a carhartt women's line jacket they're asking and ten dollars for it but upon further inspection i saw that it had some stains on the front i ended up putting it back but here's one that recently sold on ebay for forty dollars now these men's carhartt button down shirts i don't buy all the time but this one's a size 4xl from my experience bigger size clothing normally sells faster and for more money here's some that recently sold on ebay for 22 to 28 dollars this one's seven dollars i think i can get at least 25 for it now i want to know if you've ever seen this before this harley davidson sweatshirt said museum on there is there a harley davidson museum somewhere they're only asking seven dollars for this i couldn't find any sold listings but i think it's probably worth around thirty dollars it was a little bit dirty but i think it just needs a good wash this thrift store had button down men's shirts for only three dollars they had another one of these george Strait wranglers but this one was short sleeve shirt and this is not going to sell for as much maybe like 15 to 16 dollars if it was at a garage sale for a dollar i'd probably buy it but not for three dollars now these llb Bean men's button down shirts are actually one of my bread and butter shirts. These always sell really good for me. This one had a really nice color pattern, and this is probably going to be a quick seller. I usually get around $18 to $20 for these on eBay, but this one will probably go for around $22. I thought this Duluth trading shirt was a men's shirt at first. It actually ended up being a women's, but it looks like it's selling on Poshmark for around $20. So I'm glad I bought it. Now, this brand I've never sold before, it's called Five Brother. It looked like a really nice flannel and a really nice color as well it looked like they're selling for around twenty dollars i'm not sure how popular it is but i decided to give it a go this cart is so full already i love it here's another brand i've never heard of before borelli i think that's how you say it i looked it up on ebay and looked like they're selling for a good bit so i'm definitely grabbing this one here's a good find it's a polo ralph lauren long sleeve polo shirt it was made of 100 percent cotton but it felt like of a higher end material i think i can get around 23 to 25 plus shipping on ebay can't believe i'm finding all this good stuff for three dollars check this out dallas cowboy sweatshirt russell tag extra large i couldn't find the exact one that sold but i think it around thirty dollars for it i did find a little bleach spot on the back but i don't think it's gonna hurt the value very much here's another bread and butter shirt for me ralph lauren this is a size large not quick of a seller as like an extra large or bigger i normally sell these for around 18 to 20 dollars so i'm definitely picking it up i was really happy when i saw this brand barber i sold this big jacket by them a while back for $160 so I knew this was a good find. This quarter zip sweater also had elbow patches which is a huge plus. Here's some that recently sold on eBay for $40 to $60. I think I can get at least $50 for it. I also got this sweater by Genera. I looked it up on eBay and looked like most were selling for around $30. Later on whenever I got home I noticed that there are quite a few listed for around $25 but it's definitely a cool pattern. I'm gonna try to sell it for around $30. If not I think I can at least get $20 for it. Seriously, crazy thrift haul. Look at this. Polo Ralph Lauren 100% merino wool Italian yarn sweater. These sell on eBay for around $23 to $25. I'm definitely grabbing this. Here's another brand I've never heard of before. Eaton Dress Shirts. These are actually really expensive brand new. I think it's a little bit better to find these when they're like patterns like plaid or stripe or something like that. These plain ones probably don't sell for as much, but I ended up finding quite a few of these. When I looked these up, I was surprised 
surprised most of these are selling for around $30. Seeing that these are just plain shirts, I think I can get around $25 for them. This brown one looked like it had some stains on it possibly, so I left this one behind. But I ended up finding four total of these, and they're all 2XL in size. And since they're all one size, if I wanted to, I could probably put these all together and sell it as one bulk lot. I got this Polo Ralph Lauren jacket. Now, this was a medium. It's kind of a smaller size, but there were only $4 here, which is a really good deal. These can sell for a pretty good bit on eBay. This particular one, I'll probably get around $30 for it. Next, I checked out the shoe section. They had some of these Sorrel boots, but these had some pretty bad stains on it. And for $20, it's just a little bit too much. I really wanted to buy these black Sorrel shoes. They looked really nice. These sell for around $40 to $50, but I just couldn't get over the $20 tag, so I had to pass on them. They had this Smith & Corona typewriter. It's a Super 10 for $10. I sold quite a bit of typewriters in my booth for around $40 to $60. There were a few of these listed on eBay, and I only saw one that sold for an offer of under $45, so I knew it wasn't really a great model. Once I saw that the cord was chewed up pretty bad, I knew that this wasn't worth picking up. Keep an eye out for these, because you can usually find them really cheap. Unfortunately, this one was really pitted, and it was missing the lid. But this is a Magnolite pan made by Wagnerware. This three-quart pan and with the lid normally sells for around $30 to $40. Without the lid, you can sell these for around $20, but since it's pitted, it's not worth picking up. Here's something I sell really well in my booth, and that is bowling balls. There was a Galaxy 300 bowling ball in here. Now, this one was really pretty color. You could definitely tell this one was used. It had a lot of scratches all around it, and the resale value on this bowling ball is only like $15 to $20. But keep an eye out for these Brunswick bowling ball bags. Unfortunately, this one was in a little bit rough shape, and the hardware gets the leather was coming apart but normally these bags sell for around 20 to 30 dollars well i just got home from the thrift store that was definitely one of my best days out thrifting i've had in a while i was hoping to find more hard good stuff but i definitely did well on the clothing if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and follow for more and until next time see ya